Welcome back to the Al Pod. A lot Pull of people, up the charts, Big Al. The charts, a lot of people are running scared right now, Al. But what do we do? What do we do when, when things are down? We buy. We buy. We don't deny. I got some pretty good intuition that right now Bitcoin crashed about 5%, which is nothing. Um, but it's such a big number that, oh, Bitcoin crashed 6%, but it's all scale. Um, I think this upcoming week, which would be March like 20th, I think Bitcoin's going to break another all-time high um, going back up to 73. I think things are correcting a little bit. And I think next week's going to be a great week. Um, we'll see if that's correct. Or not. Ethereum really dropped 500 bucks, dude. That's over 20%. That's a big drop. That's Which we, they ex we expect 30 to 50% drops after a run up like this. What graph, For sure. Where's the graph section on Coindesk over here? Uh, crypto prices, or just click the actual bit. Yep. Nope. Right under it. Here you go, Al. Yeah. Yeah. Right here. Boom. And then you could just type whatever one you want over here. What do you want to look at? Um, hex, hex coin? <laughs> no, I'm not a hex. No. But look at this. I, I personally, this is going to shoot right back up, dude. It has. This is going to go right back up. But Al, I was seeing XRP, if you could type that real quick. XRP got some great news. Really? Something about the lawsuit. They had till March 22nd to respond to something. Um, they have till March 22nd to respond in the court case. And it most likely, I mean, I was just looking at this. I, I wish they had it on here. Like Gary Gensler, back off, man. Judge Torres already told you it's not a security. Now you want to come after Brad, Brad Garlinghouse and the goofy guy with the bald head. The, with the long, creepy hair? It yeah, looks like yeah. The guy from, yeah, he's really a scary weird. dude. I think XRP could really pump after March 22nd. We'll see if it's true. Um, Analysts say, like, there's no chart like the XRP chart when it comes to a monumental breakout because it's been consolidating for years and years because and of years. Yeah, it's just been trading sideways forever. Remember that 92 cent pump in the middle of summer? Dude, we've seen a dollar sixty. Yeah, right? not two years ago. Yeah, it was two years ago. Over and a we're gonna for sure. We're gonna again, but the other one that I really like is Polygon, man. I've been getting crazy hype on Polygon. Check it out. Yeah. Polygon Matic. Yeah, there's a How same. do those words even relate? Like Dude, where do you get the word polygon from? And then where do you get I the word you, Matic from? Polygon is actually Close to my biggest bag, but I got it on that freaking little 48 word password thing out. And I kind of want to check it out and make like sure. Cold storage? Yeah. Like, yeah. hey, man, I haven't been in this thing in a year. You want to, honestly, that's a great reminder. Play around with your cold storage right now. Yeah. Get log in with it. And because I forgot how to transfer out of cold storage. And we're going to give so our long. passwords out. Yeah. So to make sure it works. Subscribe to the podcast if you want my 21 letter phrase. I'll hook you up. Um, actually, here we go with Maddox, though. Big on Matic. Uh, look at that. Hit three bucks. Okay. Matic's pumping. What's it's going to be a big week, I think, in crypto, Al. That's all I know. Am I selling? No. I'm not going to sell till we hit this all time high again. My next Bitcoin price where I'm selling, what's yours, Al? Bitcoin, 90,000. 90,000? Take a little chunk? Got to, man. What, what, what percent? I'm not Michael Saylor, brother. <laughs> like, I'm pulling got, out a quarter. I'm pulling out a quarter. Michael Saylor bought $800 million worth of Bitcoin, and, and then it dropped how many percent? But you got to remember. He's not flinching. He's just like, eh, it's almost a billion. These people might be buying it, making even 5 6% on 100 mil. Yeah, that's huge. He just made 5 mil. Yeah. So they might be liquidating it right away or not. Like when prices are crashing, that means people are liquidating. Mm -hmm. So people are selling right now. Maybe there's short positions that they place that are being met. So, hey, I'm Oops. big on it. Yeah. What else? What other coins? Um, you love Hex. I love Hex, man. I love something named after a witch's curse. Yeah, you're right. That guy's um, that guy's pretty shady right now. Yeah. Let's see if we can type in Hex, see what they got to say about your boy. Hex can't recover. You're talking a 99% loss. I would agree. Look at this. Why is this stuff so old? November? Hex doesn't, it doesn't hit news headlines as much as like Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP does. Okay. Well, I ain't buying it. Look at this guy. SEC sues Richard Hart, Pulse Chain on unregistered securities fraud, which is exactly what they're coming after XRP for. 
True. And I wish, man, I wish I could pull up the XRP March 22nd. You want to look at it real quick? Yeah. Type in XRP March 22nd. Not on here. I don't know why it's not popping up. What happened on, on March There's 22nd? a deadline, man. Look at this. There you go. FX Empire. <laughs> if XRP hits three bucks, I'm selling a quarter. You got to sell I'm selling a quarter. You got to, man. I know things... Well, hey, it's going to go to 10 bucks. I don't care, man. If you're making money, you're making money. Imminent court dates and ongoing SEC versus Ripple case impacted buyer demand. Yeah, man. When you got the federal government after it, man, who wants to buy it? Isn't that crazy? The federal government's scaring the whole world. The whole world is scared to buy this thing. You know, the only cryptos that have ever been sued by the SEC is Bitcoin and XRP in Ethereum. The third one is XRP. So if it gets clarity, I mean, you're you're... Talking about three assets, two of them are proven to be worth thousands. The third would be XRP. It could it could jump like crazy. Yep, this is what you're talking like about? Crazy. Yeah. Must file the opening remedy related brief. Okay, so they file that related brief, then what? March, April, one month later, Ripple must submit the opposition brief. And then May SEC. Oh, dude, this lawsuit's not gonna end yeah. during the bull run. <laughs> We're gonna miss another gonna, bull run. Look at, I think the bull run's gonna end in no, December. But, but this is how sh how long the bull run is. Yeah, it, the, this bull run's got to be at least ten months. They all really are. They all really are, man. That sec. Yeah, they. Uh, man, and I, U.S. case law favors a lower penalty. To deduct proceeds of XRP sales to non-institutional investors. <sighs> I need to be like PBD where I'm like, Ripple would do expenses, so is the XRP sales. Rob, scroll down. Rob. <laughs> we got to get some Valuetainment shirts in here, man. I like, I like, dude. I, I, I see a guy in those randomly. My Syrian brother, bro. Um, anyway, I think it's going to be a big, I'm going to say two-week period. Two-week period, Bitcoin's going to hit an all-time high again. I think two weeks? In March, Bitcoin will hit another all-time high, I and, believe. Or else it's going to correct down into the 58. And then that means it's coming back up eventually. It's a decent two accumulation weeks. zone. Yeah, if you got bread, man, I'm not throwing money in at something. I, I seen a funny meme. It was like a pretty blonde girl, and it said Bitcoin in January at sixty something thousand. It was like a it was like a pretty girl, and then it said Bitcoin in March at sixty eight thousand. It was like it was an mean, ugly yeah. blonde dude. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it shows you like. That was the it's expectations. True. Like, and that is the. I think. I think crypto will always be volatile. So all these financial people that dog it, they're correct. It's volatile as heck, dude. It is. But if you're can if you're someone who's non-emotional and doesn't put in more than they can lose, and you buy low and sell high, I want to rinse and repeat ten times up on the way to a mill. Dollar cost average doesn't hurt. You want to put a. But little it ain't bit safe. Of... It's vol. It's very volatile. People kill themselves from this stuff, dude. Seriously. Crypto. Where did crypto come from, man? Nerds nerds right 100 percent. it could be all fake man well you know what's interesting is it's cryptography it's coded phrases <clears throat> it's hard to mimic and replicate so the nsa i believe it's either cia or the National nsa Survey, yeah. they have a statue in front of their headquarters and it's dedicated to cryptography which is what crypto is it's, is this new no it's been there so cryptography has been around since like the yeah, Greek, just encrypted messages, the golden Greek ages. Yeah. yeah. But the NSA and the CIA advance cryptography so much that it's become oh, this almost a form of artificial intelligence, man. Like you can't replicate this stuff. You can't penetrate the Bitcoin code. There's a guy who comes in who works in, um, and fraud what is it bitcoin crypto fraud mm -hmm. and he said you for sure can track everything and where it's going to he really? said it just takes a lot longer but he said they know they can for sure see where you're sending money and who's getting it remember the mount gox there's a mount gox um fraudulent thing that happened where people lost all their bitcoin and it took like seven years for them to get their money oh, back. Oh, they got it back? Yeah, they got it back, man. And so there's proof, man. There's, there's you, so you, much. They know where your money's going, dude. Nothing's, you know what it's is. It's digital. You know what is really anonymous? Cash. Yeah, cash is so, anonymous. To me, cash is the most mafia thing in the world, Al. Yeah. You can come in here and give me 50 Gs. Nobody knows a thing, Nobody dude. knows. There's no technology in it. It's a freaking piece of paper. Nobody so, knows. I love cash. Yeah. For that reason, because you're safe. Yeah, you're leaving a digital footprint in the crypto Everywhere. World. And you're Nothing a hacker can... away. Yeah, you, people yeah. can take your cash. They got to rob you. You see it coming. You see what happened. I know you got so many cameras. people that got scammed out of crypto, man. So many people. 
one after another after another after another people operating as uh gurus you know what's annoying is these uh crypto instagrams where they give you a crypto update so you check the comments to see what the general consensus is and the comments is i turn to jennifer Yee yeah, for yeah. all my advice i turn to michael buffer for all my Bitcoin yeah it's purchases. Boxed, so, yeah it's Anyone like, who's trying to sell you crypto or you give them crypto, it's obviously I want to find those guys, bro. Like if they're I bots. find a scammer, they're just people in But basements. it's somebody programming bots. Yeah. It's some sure. evil person that hates himself, hates humanity, and wants to ruin your life sitting in his mother's basement trying to take the hard-earned money that you work yeah. for. Those are the It's sad. Oh man. But people mind. there's also some dumb people that do it. How many times my dad's called me like, hey, you think this is real? Like no, Dad. Look at the the email address, man. Does that yeah. look real to you? Yeah, you just expand the address. Yeah, you know, sender. it's not from Coinbase, and it looks like a blockchain code. When you expand it. You're like, what kind of email address is this? All right, there's our sell points. Eleven. We're done, Big LA. We're done.